16? Number 16? Are you fucking kidding me? How does this make sense? Nebraska, last week, ranked number 13 in the playoff poll, dropped to number 16. 16. After a bye week. How does that make any sense? Hello, I'm Nathan. Hey, guess what, Nebraska fans? There are now six two-loss teams ranked ahead of us. Wait till you hear what these are. Let me run through them real quick. Auburn, a two-loss team that just lost to Texas A&M, a team that couldn't buy a score against Alabama at home a couple weeks ago. Uh, Old Miss, again, another two-loss team. It, it see, there's a pattern here that losing to SEC teams doesn't matter at all. If, if you're in the SEC and lose a conference game, you're not going to get dropped, period. Uh, UCLA, oh, that's a good one. Let's look at UCLA's record real quick. Their best win against Arizona. Okay, a decent team. They beat Oregon. Their best loss is to Oregon, but their worst loss is to Utah, a 6-3 and three team. They lost to Utah, and they're ranked ahead of us. Uh, what, what's the next one? Kansas State. Tell me, who is Kansas State beaten that they deserve to jump a one-loss team? Kansas State beat an unranked Oklahoma team. Oklahoma is no longer ranked because they got blown out Saturday by TCU. They lost to TCU and they lost to Auburn. Granted, those are two quality win, quality losses, but they're still losses. All right, who else? Um... Uh, Arizona, their best win again against Oregon. That's a that's a good win. That's a great win. But they lost to UCLA and USC. USC, by the way, unranked. Uh, Georgia. Let's take a look at Georgia here. Their best win is, is against Clemson. Really? Clemson is their best win. That's the win that they can hang their hat on and say, look, we deserve to be ranked ahead of a one-loss team because we beat Clemson. And they've lost to two unranked teams. Florida, they got manhandled by Florida and South Carolina. So tell me, tell me why a team coming off a bye week, didn't even play, gets dropped three spots in favor of all of these teams. Nebraska was ranked number 13. We, we started this playoff poll 15, moved up to 13, and then dropped to, 15, to 16 after a bye week. How does that make sense? It simply doesn't. At the very worst, Nebraska should be 11 right now. I can understand Ohio State jumping us. I completely understand that. They beat a very good Michigan State team on the road. Michigan State's ranked ahead of us. That doesn't make any sense either. They've lost, again, two games. One of them a huge blowout at home, and the other one they let, let get away from them on the road against Oregon. And let's not pretend that Michigan State beat Nebraska by some huge margin. They didn't. Nebraska came within an inch of beating that Michigan State team with one drop pass in the end zone from beating Michigan State on the road. So now we have UCLA, Kansas State, Arizona, Georgia, Auburn and, El and Old Miss, and Michigan State, all ranked ahead of Nebraska despite having two losses apiece. Do, do wins and losses not mean anything? Do they not? Does losing to a good team mean more than actually winning? Because that's the message that this college football poll seems to give. That's the message they're sending here. That if you lose to a good team, it doesn't matter if you lose. You will still be highly ranked. Not only that, but these, seems to be, these seem to be projections of where the committee thinks these teams are going to end up. 16 for a one-loss Nebraska team, for an 8-1 and one Nebraska team, seems like a projection rather than a ranking of where teams are right now. It seems to me that the college football committee thinks Nebraska is going to finish around the 16 mark. It seems to me that they think that Bama is going to finish, if not in the top four, if they don't make the playoff, within the top four five six range it seems they, they think auburn and old miss are both going to finish in the top 10 and all these other teams ucla ksu arizona georgia in the top 15 
I'm sorry, but that's wrong. This is just straight up wrong. You cannot punish an eight and one team by dropping them behind dropping them behind all these two lost teams for an, even, when they haven't even played. They haven't played this weekend. We were 13. Now we're 16. Can you really say that Nebraska is worse this week than they were last week when we didn't even play? What has changed for the Corneskers? What has changed so dramatically that you have to drop us three spots? It seems to me that if we were good enough to be the 13th ranked team last week and then two weeks ago, yeah, last week, and then go on a bye, then we should be the 13th ranked team at the least this week as well. But no, you got to pick UCLA. That's the one that really gets me. UCLA, they haven't beaten anybody. Their best win, okay, they beat Arizona, a two-loss football team. And then they lose to Utah and Oregon. All right, those are, Oregon's a good loss. Utah's a decent loss. But again, that's two losses. Two. And they beat Arizona. What? What makes you think that Air, that UCLA is suddenly such an amazing team? Last week, they were ranked behind Nebraska. This week, they throttled Washington, and suddenly they jumped Nebraska. Why? I want an explanation here. I want the committee to explain these decisions. Georgia. Georgia loses to Florida and South Carolina. Two unranked teams. Nebraska's only loss to Michigan State. Yet Georgia jumped us. I don't know. This none of this makes sense. This is this is by far the worst poll that I have seen in a very very long time. AP coaches and this playoff committee's poll, even the BCS poll. You you dropped Florida State. Behind Oregon. I get it. People don't like Florida State. They don't look all that impressive, but at the end of the day, they are still undefeated. What are you gonna are you gonna jump jump them out of the top four? Are you gonna put Bama in there over FSU if Bama wins out? Are you gonna drop them out completely because they don't look impressive? Because their wins don't look all that good? Earth to the committee. They're still undefeated. And it looks like they'll go the rest of the season undefeated. I'm no FSU apologist, but that's a travesty. You cannot dump an undefeated football team behind a one-loss football team. You can't do that. You simply cannot. Because that opens up the door to dropping FSU out of the top four entirely, despite them winning all their, fo their football games. Look, this is the exact reason why we need to go to an 18 playoff. Nonsense like this is why we need to go to an 18 playoff and give conference champions an automatic qualifying, an automatic spot in that playoff. You have to do it. There, there is no way that this kind of nonsense can continue year after year after year after year. You need to eliminate the human element. You need to be able to go up to every single team in the NCAA and say, this is what you need to do to get into the playoff. If you do this, you're in. Guaranteed. No more, no more human element. No more eyeball test. No more counting on the subjective opinions of a bunch of individuals sitting in a room deciding the fate of all these teams. No, you need to have an objective standard that any that, that's fair to all the teams in the NCAA, every single one, an objective standard that teams can meet and you can go up to them at the beginning of the season and lay out to them exactly what they have to do. Because looking at this poll, seeing that Oregon jumped FSU, that tells me one loss teams can get into the playoff ahead of undefeated teams. Now, and I, I get leaving Marshall out. I get that. They're undefeated, but they don't play anyone. But FSU is a power five team. FSU is a power five team. If they can drop behind a one-loss team, who's to say that they can't drop behind TCU and Bama? Who's to say they can't drop behind Arizona and Baylor and Ohio State? Who's to say that? Because they already dropped them behind one one-loss team. Who's to say that they can't drop them behind more? Look, ladies and gentlemen, this is just... 
amazing. It's it's not just the snub, the incredible snub, snub that Nebraska gets. Okay, it's not just that. Is this FSU ranking is also incredibly incredibly frustrating. All right. Look, I'm happy we went to playoff. I'm happy that we did away with the BCS, but a 14 playoff is not enough. It's not an answer. You need to go to eight teams with automatic bids to conference champions. All right, that's the only way you can get rid of bullshit like this. I'm Nathan. I'm out.